Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to part 21 of the level 3 PvP only series. In the recent video, we defeated the Godskin duo. We've done most of the things I need to do in Faramazula. Since I'm using these as PvP characters that I plan to reallocate later, there are certain things I actually don't like to do with the character. Defeating Malekith is actually one of those things, as it does change your capital to the Ashen capital. Which I'm personally not a huge fan of, as you can't just throw your summon sign down in the Ashen Landell to get picked up by friends in the standard Landell, so I'd rather my character have access to the main area. If I need the Ashen one, all I need to do is defeat Malekith and then I have it open, so it's just better to have your backup save on your character work that way. So all I really have to do is go through the top part of the mountaintops to get to the Halig tree, and then we just need to open up the Mogwin area, and our character is basically ready. After which I'm going to start the new run on my hero class, I'm pretty excited for that, but before we do any of that, we are going to start off with some invasions. The last thing we did in the video last time was invade, so we have a few leftover runes. We're just going to stack those 600 on top. Well, hello there. Hi, guys. Athena. Ooh, I really like the standard knight set this game has. Whoa, aggression. <laughs> I don't really know the timing on that. I cut that pretty close, but it worked out. I think you're probably going to panic roll this. Ooh, good damage. <laughs> I didn't think the sun bro would be attacking right away. But we have regen going in the physics, that's pretty good. Ooh, R2 Claymore pokes. I'm a fan. Oh my god. Also a fan of Zweihander pokes though. <laughs> that's the thing with the stamp. If you attack into it, you take the hit. And if you panic roll, you take the hit. You really just have to react roll it. Oh. That actually wasn't a lot of runes though, 2000. Well, would you look at that? A wizard! Hello, wizard. How are you? Well, that's an odd choice, but I will take your... There we go. Oh, the halo scythe. That's a different one. What do we have going on here? Whoa! Uh, hopefully you dodge. You will not dodge, apparently. <laughs> Don't dodge towards me when you have 2 HP. <laughs> that's probably not the best bet. People be really aggressive. Um, what, wait. This is those times I wish you have like a replay camera where you can see what possibly happened to the phantom. Because where is the nearest cliff up here? He ran up and then what? Rolled off, maybe rolled off to the right side over there. <laughs> That's actually hilarious though. I kind of feel bad. Oh no. <laughs> well, <laughs> fun fight memento. I really wish I could have seen. I'm, I'm betting that they fell here maybe. It's because they were running up towards me. <laughs> That's hilarious. I've invaded Wretch. Well, hello, Wretch. Is that just your starting class? Do you have a teammate, Wretch? Possibly? Ooh. Well, thank you for doing some work for me, PV. I'm in need of these runes currently. I've also been thinking since we're almost... Oh, is that a... Oh, I thought it was a teammate. Since I'm almost done the character... I'm probably going to reach close to level 90. I'm on my PlayStation 5 right now, and I don't have any character other than meta level characters. So it would be really cool to have some mid-level, there's some 90s. I was just thinking maybe I'll end this character at level 90. Also, fun fight, Wretch. I remember people telling me plus 17 is a really good weapon range for 90 anyway. And since we're so close to being done it, maybe I'll just level up to 90 level up some weapons to 17, and then have a level 90 invasion character. I feel like that's a really good plan, as I already have a Vagabond starting class. That's my main one that you guys see me use all the time for all my builds, and it's at level 125. So that would make this one useful. I started as Vagabond for this challenge, so otherwise I just have a duplicate of the same character. I think that's going to be the plan, but let's just go back to the round table hole to upgrade some of the weapons that are falling behind here. Or depending, maybe buy some of the stones. I am lacking quite a lot of the stones here. I have 7,000, so maybe I should start stocking up on them in order. We have 30 of those. How many of these can we get? I will buy 12. Okay. Left with 68 souls. I suppose I just need to go to the lift now. I'm pretty sure I have both half of the medallions to go to the Halig tree. We'll see. We come here and we switch to the secret medallion. There we go. I feel like I know this place pretty well because I invade here. Sort of often. The hidden path to the Halig tree. The beast eye quivers. Oh yes, there is a boss in here. Towards the bottom. Pretty sure one of them just drops from the ceiling. Yeah. I'll be stealing this. Ooh, you know what? Warming stones are appreciated. 
don't flail at me. Whoa, that's a slow jump there, buddy. Do I need to kill you, though? What do you give us, really? Pretty sure you're just like an ovary, right? Oh my god. You can crit them so easily. Yes, indeed. Um, I guess I'll get the grace first, and then we can go down. You're about to drop, right? You don't really block much, though. Freezing grease. That's something I don't use very often. Is it drop? Yeah. Get jumped. Whoa! What? Did that come from above? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. The Silver Scarab. There's a few in here from what I remember. Hello. Ha! <laughs> Ow. That hurt. Oh. I didn't know they could track so well. I was going to try to backstab it. Give me that. Sacramental Bud. And now the Invisible Staircase. Oh, <laughs> that would have been bad. Oh, hi. I don't really trust. Oh, it goes that far to the side? This looks hilarious. <laughs> I'm not sure how wide that is, but I thought it was more narrow than what I just seen. Oh, what? There's one in here? One, two. And then I just roll off, right? That. Now we jump. Can I hit that on the way down? I probably could have. It's my own bad for missing. No, not the flailing octopus. Heal. Strategically. You don't see me. <laughs> Get stealth. Now what is in here? Oh, a lot of them. Thankfully, that pillar blocked that attack. Oh, I didn't see that one. Oh. I'm very thankful for these pillars. I almost can't see them at all. <laughs> you guys blend in with the shadows. They're meant to be sneaky, I suppose. No, not the wall. Oh my god. The wall. Please. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> oh my god. What? <laughs> what is happening? I should have turned my lantern on first, but as if I got a backstab there. That is not what I was trying for. <laughs> okay, lantern. It's quite dark in here. Excuse me. Take this. Do we get anything for... Oh, there's an item up there. I see. Hi there. I didn't... Go really? I said I didn't make him stunned. What do you have as an item? Old Fang. Ew. I'm coming in. Going back in. Yeah, okay, there we go. What else is here? They're gauntlets. And... Oh yeah, the forgot this. You need to pull this. <laughs> I was going to say, I remember having to fight that for some reason. Here we go. What am I holding? Oh. Oh, yeah. There's a mimic in here. <laughs> I have to fight myself. Let's see who's better with the claymore. I'm pretty proficient. I warn you. You're not supposed to use the shield. That's not chase-like at all. You just do a bunch of thrusts with the claymore. That was pretty good, though. And then you swap for a wake-up. Oh, you're supposed to dodge. <laughs> but... All right, mimic me. Fun fight. <laughs> all right. Uh, what is this? 
The death root, that's right. Actually useful. Now we go back to the beginning. Let's quickly just sit at the grace and then we can head through the mountaintop area. I don't know how I'm forgetting, we just defeated a boss. We're gonna do some PvP, see if we can get some high level phantoms. A crystal cave invasion, all right, Arthas. I do not see the compass. Oh, I was gonna say, this is a pretty vertical area though, so that kind of makes sense. Hello, Arthas. Now, how good is the radius of the Gravitas? That's the question. I kind of want to surprise them and scare them with the jump attack so bad. Hi, guys. It's been a while since I've done that. Come back here. Oh, wait, no. I wanted the sun, bro, not you. This ruins my plans. Oh. This has, oh, not enough poise to tank a jump attack. That kind of makes sense, actually, when I think about it. Come here. <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> Ooh, moon blast. I love that he jumped up to do that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Oh, I don't love that. Let me just take a little bit of cover. Oh, not any cover in here, huh? We dodge down then. That is such a big hitbox when I think about it, because no matter what you're beside, you always get hit by it. What in the... Oh, I got that new talisman. Hey there, guys. This vertical climbing is pretty fun, though, I have to admit. I like it. Oh, no? <laughs> okay, now I'm just lost. Where are you guys? I'm behind you. Hey there. Meteor, ooh. <laughs> no wizardry will be found in my home here. Hi guys. Hey wizard. Poke. Whoa. It's fine. We're both together. Oh my God. Well, it was fine. Uh, wait, this one. Arthas, you're kind of... Ooh, I'm sorry, Arthas. I need the runes. <laughs> Unfortunately. At least the grace is just right down there. It's fine. You won't have to travel far. Whoa. Did he have more runes than his phantom? By, like, quite a lot. <laughs> right? <laughs> what? Noxtella, the Eternal City. With E. <laughs> Actually, I didn't even know you could have that many characters in your name. What is the limit? <laughs> well, I guess I take it. 1,300 souls. Well, this is an interesting spawn. Hello there, Ark. Hi. How are you? Hey. Ark, I am coming in. What do you have? Halberd? All right. Show me what you got, Ark. I pop your bubble. Phantom with some regen. Where's your teammate at, though? Is he uh, going to come in here any minute now? He is. It's a wizard as well. Throwing some bombs at me. That's a wall. We jump around. Hello there. That's going to hit me. <laughs> I kind of rolled into that one. Backstab? No backstab. That was so clean though, honestly. I feel bad about that one. I dodged it. Got to roll by here. Wish we had the Stormhawk Axe. This would be a really good situation. They like to be aggressive here, so... We're gonna attack. Oh! You guys are taunt or tongued. That's kind of cool. I like that. Let's get this going, then. Oop. Double thrust. Oh, that might kill you. <laughs> no, it did a lot of damage, though. Gonna backstab you next. Nice. That did 70 damage. What in the <laughs> fun fight arc? I'll give him a bow. I'm coming in. All right, Cipher. Oh my God, this thing scared the life out of me. Oh, light roll. It's like Naginata, but you know, at least it's only one. Oh. Uh, wait, did I get hit by that blood or his roar? I rolled be crazy sometimes. Look at that distance. Oh, that was almost a roll catch. Bonk. I love my stamina region. <laughs> oh, man. The light roll is definitely saving him. <laughs> I 
Do those hit me? I can't tell. Oh, oh my god, this guy is just getting ganked. But honestly, it'd be hard to roll catch him otherwise. Oh, this might be the end now. Ha! Ah, red! Thanks, man. <laughs> Good teamwork, honestly, even though I think I got hit a couple times there. Worked out well for me. <laughs> uh, that's funny. 10k is actually pretty nice. We'll take those winnings. Maybe I can upgrade some of the weapons that are falling behind now that I want to stay at plus 17. What else? I would like to use a scythe. Our S stock is not upgraded either. So we'll start buying some more of the stones so we can get a few weapons to 17. Then we have an even bigger roster of weapons to swap between. So I have 14 of these. I think we're going to need 24 total to be able to get a weapon to whatever a stone three can get us to. Only nine. Ooh. And then we're going to have to get more of these as well. 500 left over. We'll buy one of those. All right. Now we move on, grab the map, and head towards maybe the Moog area first. The snowfield is definitely one of the weird areas to horse through. I don't know it off by heart yet. Everything is just a blizzard. I just get lured in by the shiny objects. That, uh, that wasn't even an item. <laughs> that was a torch. The Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook. Oh yeah, I forgot about those. Oh god. They're actually kind of annoying if we don't fight them. Their arrow tracking is very good. Oh yeah! Those! Oh my god, the range they have. Wait, is this... Okay, no, I can jump down here. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know where I am right now. And I can't open the map! <laughs> I don't horse around here much. That? Well, that sounds good. Hey there, health ball. You're tanky. Get off the horse. Bonk. Bonk. Get some free Estus back. Alright, at least we're not in an area. How did I end up over here? <laughs> I sort of know where I am now. Yes, there's the ruins here. keep going this way, we're going to end up at the spot that warps us to Moog. So we're going to come do that eventually. Is there anything important in these ruins? Bunch of madness rats. I do remember we eventually get invaded by an NPC though. <laughs> That's some funny timing, I'm pretty sure it's right now. <laughs> yeah, near the red flowers here. The Sanguine Noble. Well, hello there. I actually love this Ash of War. I feel like it works incredibly well with the Claymore. <laughs> I love how even the enemies just stop rolling eventually when they keep getting roll caught. They start trading. <laughs> it's kind of more effective. Oh man, that Talisman is really ruining my swap. I think they'll take the second hit. Maybe not. We'll get rid of y'all frostbite. Perfect. No, this is an unfair 2v1. They have a dragonfly. Most OP in all of the land. <laughs> Just like everyone we fight. Oh, it ate my uh, R1 input there, unfortunately. Okay, that bleed is getting real close. Yep. <laughs> we back. Oh, I was going to say, we can probably backstab that. Can I strafe that? I can. R2. Goodbye, Sanguine Noble. What do you drop? Anything? Ah, the hood and the armor. That's right. Whoa. How long will you pester me, do you think? Do I need to kill you? I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I feel like I would've had that on me the whole time. Let me grab the map. We can go get our sacred tier quick. And we may as well grab the grace that's right in front of us as well. 
You don't see me. I have an archer on my back. Ordina liturgical town. Oh yeah, the little flame puzzle here. You have to climb and do all the flames. I feel like I'll keep Halig Tree for the last area. Moog's area is close. They're actually, they're both pretty much the same. Is that our final sacred tier? Wait. Oh, there isn't a sacred tier there. That's right. Is that where we do the Latena quest? Oh boy. Forgot all about these. Hug the wall, hug the wall. These were such an interesting idea by FromSoft. Wish they weren't dinging so loudly though. The silver mirror shield. Now I forget, do I just equip? Oh, it just says summon Latena. I took the time to equip her. I don't know if you have to, but we summon Latena. Oh, young yet towering sister of ours. You're welcome. I finally fulfilled my purpose. And we get our somber ancient dragon smithing stone. Nice. Our young yet towering sister will give us hope. Nice. Quest done. Oh no, I thought it was oddly quiet. <laughs> I could take the time to put that down, but do I really want to? A somber stone seven. I'm pretty sure it's nearby here. Ooh, not the electric balls. Two circles. Hi guys. Coming in to steal these items, and also I forget where the Moog teleporter is. Ah, Rune Bear. Hello. Well, Bear. Anything useful that you're guarding, though? No items? Really? Interesting. Excuse me, Mr. Bear, I'm going down here. Yes, there it is. All right, we go in. Oh, I forget it spawns you in a cave. <laughs> then you come up near the top here. Thinking about it, as an invader, can you get up here in any way? I don't think so. No, because you have to drop down to here. I was going to say, I don't remember the last time I stood there. It was so long ago. Golden rune and some mushrooms. Ah yes, the place where everyone farms for runes. I do actually like invading this area though. Pretty fun fights here. We're going to be kind and leave them all alive. There's been too much butchering here. No more blood shall be shed. Unless they come attack me, then, then I have no choice. But for now, there's a truce. Oh, I don't know. They're cartwheeling into action. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I do know I get invaded here, though. The birds are a nightmare. We're gonna not aggro the birds. Don't mind me, just creeping for whatever this is. A cookbook. Perfect, perfect. I do not remember what area you get invaded in. I just remember running through, oh, apparently one right here. Oh, right behind me, okay. Where is there no bird? I don't wanna fight near a bird. Here, maybe? This seems pretty good. Come on over, White Mask. What do you have as a weapon? I, for some reason, expected... <laughs> oh, yeah. 
like blood tax on what weapon is that? Is that, a, is that a dagger? That is definitely a dagger. Come here. Oh, well. My stamina's kind of low. Can you like backstab easily? Oh yeah. Well, I missed. That doesn't do the most damage. I guess it is bleed infused though. The whole point is to just yeah. Oh. Well, these are you drop items. Oh, that's where you get the full white mask outfit, the surgeon outfit. Now I am sure that more invade you. I think it's when you run to every area, right? There's a few different spawn points. Oh god, these dogs are tanky, actually. And there's quite a few of them. Smack. This is this the method? <laughs> Jumping R2 after you stun them. Maybe. Arteria leaf. Yeah, there we go. What would be the quickest way to kill them? Maybe this with spinning slash. Probably roll catch it. Yeah. Yeah, that does some pretty good damage. <laughs> oh, you have, you have the bleed. Oh no. Every bleed summon ever. You don't know about this. Take my FP. What do you drop? Nothing. 300 runes? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is not a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna get blasted by a skeleton <laughs> real soon, that's right. Excuse me. I feel like you can't track that well. Can I backstab you? Oh my god, I can. You are pretty tanky though. I'll give you that. Oh, I actually... I've never attacked that skeleton, from what I remember. It died in two hits, though. Another one. Oh, God. Excuse me here. Oh. A behind-the-back hitbox. A third one. Oh, my God. I don't remember that at all. Apparently, I don't remember a lot of things here. Oh, that one's actually gonna hit me though. Let's heal that. Hey there. You won't hyper armor this, will you? You will. But it's okay. We can then grab the map right up here and then make our way to Moog. Boom. We definitely got the physic for Moog, I think. I'm pretty sure I grabbed that. Also, we can use a rune arc just to be tankier. I'm not sure what the max damage Moog can hit us for, but our health isn't the best. Opaline or regen? I feel like I'd rather regen. <laughs> Onward we go to Moog. Shouldn't be too bad. As long as you have the physic and you don't just lose a bunch of HP to that one attack. It's not the worst. Woo! Oh! Oh! The bleed here is pretty gnarly. Let's get this going. Actually, this will be better to wear in the boss fight as well. Just realized that. Oh. Um, oh, there we go. Hardcore. We have the merchant there whenever we need it. We can't use these runes right now, though. These are not spendable runes. Oh, a lord's rune. That's where that is. Now I have two of those behind me. That's lovely. I dodge your dagger. Will not go in your heavy roll swamp. <laughs> Ow! Stop throwing daggers at me. That's rude. And you are fast, aren't you? Nice. <laughs> they actually de-aggroed from that. 
All right, let's think this through. He's a boss that kind of flies around a lot, so it might be nice to have something to poison him. He's probably pretty strong to fire, blood flame and all. I don't know if you can frostbite or poison for sure, but if I am going to be poisoning, I feel like the claymore is probably the choice just to get it done really quickly. And then we have our frostbite on our Banish Knight Greatsword. Maybe I'll make the halberd heavy. You don't want to be fighting him with a really long Ash of Wars. I feel like his punishment does pretty small. Maybe Royal Knight's Resolve, just buff it up a little bit. Could be something. And then we have Great Stars, we can try to regen off that as well. Could be useful. Alright, we're all good to go, except for Latena is on my hotbar. There we go. Now I guess the plan is, we start with Poison, try to Frostbite for weaker defenses, and I could also use a Rune Arc. Not too much bonus health or damage, but I'll take it. We have the Spiral Horn Shield to increase our loss build up. Okay. And don't use my Physic. Yes. I almost instinctively just used it for regen, but we're using that to block his attack. Alright, Moog, what do you got? I remember the baby Moog fight, so the first half shouldn't be bad. I don't remember a lot of your moves in the second half. Is that the vertical one? No. Well... You do like ranged attacks. How do you feel about those? You know what? <laughs> Good tool for when he goes for his um, bleed. Um, poison. Just for when I'm going to be able to get free hits and when he does his trident up thing and maybe we can get the poison. Stand behind him though so we don't get hit. Yeah. Just feel like fighting the baby mode, right? Oh man. Eee! The range of that is scary. Now, I don't remember if I can frostbite you at all. We're getting hit by that. Toe blast. No, not the weird jump. <laughs> um, it's hard to tell which one of those it is that he's doing. Like vertical or horizontal. Oh, thank god. Oh, the toe attack is so quick. What? Oh, yeah. I never got rid of that weird talisman. It's in the place of my heel talisman. That's gonna get old. Holy! Ah! Well, fine then. Oh my god, Moog, relax. Ow. I hate you. <laughs> it looks like he's not going for an attack after that, but he is. Will that reach me? Oh my god. I would have been so sad. Really? That hit me? Really, Moog? Yeah, I know. Take your toe stuff. You play with your own toes, okay? Yeah, it's pretty effective. Now, I kind of want to try timing the poison to where it'll work through when he does his Nihil. I forget if he swaps at, like, half HP, maybe? So, I feel like we're getting kind of close. We'll go for the poison soon. Hey, no fair, I can't really see what you're doing there. Oh, the toe attack! You tried. You tried. Okay, we drink this. Oh my god. <laughs> Poison you, maybe, hopefully. That should be enough, right? And then we'll go for Frostbite. Oh, I forgot that does a lot of damage to me through. That hurts. Woo! I don't know your moves now. Oh, I know that explodes, though. Okay, let me get some FP here. We're gonna need to do some Ash of Wars to do some burst damage. Oh my god! You know, in fact, I'm gonna do this until I kinda learn your moveset here. Whoa! Whoa, buddy! Oh, there's bleed aura around everything he does, that's right. So, I don't know if you wanna dodge away from him at all. Hey, this actually hurts him a lot, though. Oh boy! Oh boy! He also leaves, like, blood aura everywhere that he goes. So... Ah! This is doing some good damage, though. I have to say. I'm a fan. Oh my god, his wings kind of block the vision. Maybe poison, though? Just because he rolls or Oh, man. Just because he rolls around so much, though. Not stepping in the blood aura is so difficult. 
It's literally everywhere. Maybe I should roll towards him. I wonder if I have an opening for an attack ever right after that. Now? Never, I feel like, enough time for, like, an Ash of War, though. That hurt. It's like, right there, I was thinking about going for a roll attack. You no, know, he always finishes it with the thrust in the ground now. Okay, maybe that. That might be a good time for... Yeah, he's got a lot of recovery off that. Okay. I'm getting kind of bled up here, though. Whoa. Oh my god, the timing on that's weird. Whoa. What in the hole? Dodge right. <laughs> Even though I ran left. <laughs> okay, is he poisoned? No. Not really. Maybe now? We got a heavy attack in there. Oh man, that's a lot of bleed. Do you stop? And then thrust on the ground or no? My man has not stopped attacking. Okay, let me just heal the bleed in case. At least our regen got us back to full. You know what? Poison seems like a no-go here. I think I'll just try to do that. FP. You have infinite attacks, my friend. LT. I especially don't like that one. I don't know how to dodge it exactly. Maybe I just walk around that? You have a follow-up to that? Oh my god. Oh my god, here comes the whole chain. Ow. Are you done? I swear he just chained two attacks side by side there. He just infinitely did his attack. <laughs> okay, we're just we're just gonna long range L2. I feel like that's my best bet. It actually does our most damage as well. Like even if I'm close, I think I'm gonna do that. Moog, I'm gonna need you to calm down. Okay, there's some recovery on that at least, I remember that. Not much, but some. Vertical? Oh my, the range on that is crazy still as well. Moog! Relax! <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna... We're, oh, I still have the heal on. Okay, we heal. And then, oh, I didn't even have the Ash of War boost on. You'd be dead already, Moog. You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> Jeez. I do not remember him attacking that much. There's like infinite chain there sometimes. Well, goodbye, Moog. Yeah, that's right. I'll take your great rune. <laughs> okay. That was difficult. But now it's done. Now, before we do our invasions, we're going to swap our Ash of Wars back. All right, I think we're good to go. We'll just wipe our souls and do some invasions here. Oh, nice. We get the Shunning Grounds with Aku. And I've seen the names above here, or at least close by. Hello there. How are you? Well, that's a nice formal way to say hello to me. PJ. Rude. We're taking our battle down here, it seems. Oh, I missed an epic plunge opportunity. Very sad. PJ. Oh, oh you got two teammates. Oh, wait. Wait. Which one's the host? Probably Formless Serpent, since he's still fighting. No, that was the best dodge ever. <laughs> All right, man. I see you. That's cool. Send me down on your elevator. <laughs> I do not appreciate that. It's pretty funny though. I think he's gonna be waiting there for me. Yeah. Hello. 
Now I'm bringing you down in the elevator with me. Maybe not. Oh. Oh, well, hey. How are you? I didn't know there was three of us. Do not roll off here, my friend. That would be so sad. Hey. I cannot see in here. <laughs> I cannot backstab in here either. Okay, you can't escape me. There's a... The pot? Where did the pot come from? What? I would... <laughs> that's so cool but at the same time oh wait that's hilarious hey i'm enjoying our fight man i don't want you to fog wall though that's kind of what i'm hoping you don't do nice i like this it's going well oh that is a lot of roll catch potential unfortunately the wall stopped you fun fight though man you don't see a bleed colossal sword <laughs> I see you uh, grabbed a ride with us, man. <laughs> Horn blower. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. All right, I'm guessing you're right here. I, I thought I seen that. Oh, I still have the Moog bubble. <laughs> I'm one of the Moog bubblers. <laughs> That's funny. Poke. Oh, you guys both have Bloodhound Fang. That could get dangerous. And by get, it kind of already is. Oh man, I still have to go to that talisman as well. Would have been <laughs> No! I was joking when I said it would have been hilarious. If the sun- Oh, he died from the backstab. Would have fallen. <laughs> the host did. <laughs> That's why you strategically heal where if they try to take a straight line to you, it's not good for them. I am quickly getting rid of that dumb talisman. You have plagued me for far too long. I think I have a shield I don't want as well. Yes. And we should change the physic while I'm here. Get some better defenses. Okay. Now we're good to go. Nocron in there below me. Oh. I was so confused as to where I was. Hang on, guys. I'm coming. In fact, I didn't know you could invade here. I thought this was like a locked off area. I thought you had to fight over there. Okay, they're near-ish because the symbol is gone. So I feel like... Oh, they're right there. Hi, guys. Where's the phantom? Oh, the phantom's leading. Okay. Oh, man. I will leave the host there for a second. Hi there, cell sword guy. How are you? Cell swords. I'm so used to saying that from Dark Souls 3 still to this day. It was just such a common thing that people used. Oh, Snow. Oh, you guys are using the exact same thing. <laughs> Both using curved swords. This is a little bit dangerous. Oh, that poise broke that. Interesting. You should come get the grace. I don't want you guys to not get your progress. I just want to fight you. Gotta get out of the way. Ooh. Pretty anime jump. I'll give you that. I did a lot of damage, actually. Hold up. I did eh, like a third. If I got hit by both of them doing that and the frostbite proc, I'd probably die. <laughs> we gotta watch out for that for sure. <laughs> I have some teammates here, man. Would this roll catch off of that? I don't think it would. Um, okay, let's get this for the combo. You do a lot of damage, actually. I don't know why the host isn't out here. Um, I guess Frostbite. Frostbite's the scariest thing there. Aha! No? Moog Spear? Random. Yeah, Frostbite's definitely the scary thing here. Let's see, I want you to not go in, okay? You have 2 HP. Yeah, unfortunate. I wanted him. Hosts always attack so quickly. Awesome. <laughs> unfortunate shadow, I don't get your runes. I think we're going to do uh, a bit of invasions here. Just because we're kind of at the end of the video, I would say. We defeated Moog. We have the Hallig tree next. Let's do a few invasions to call it. Maybe we'll get some high level phantom. The mountain tops. Ooh, well, let's let's do a little bit of shams here. 
Hi guys. Whoa, already throwing stuff at me. Already wizarding about. Before I even get there, William. William Defoe. <laughs> what are you gonna do if I'm on a rock, wizard? How do you feel about this? I bypass you and go to your wizard! <laughs> Who thinks he's safe? <laughs> Unfortunately, he's not. Dual great swords. Okay. Um. Moonveil. I should have known that. Okay, we definitely want to take out the Moonveiler first. I have a dagger. <laughs> I don't have the defense talisman on, so I was wondering why he was doing that. Just to chip down my regen, maybe? Whoa. Okay, shield noted. I'm letting some regen work here. Oh, man. What the? Did that hit me from the rock? I gotta watch out for that. Oh, okay. I'm gonna dodge just because sometimes the greatsword does a lot of damage. Like that. We're gonna backstab his next jump attack. I'm gonna keep out the dagger, actually. I see it coming. Whoa. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Jump attack? Yeah. Backstab? Yeah. Got to rid of the high level phantom though, and I'm going to need some really good burst damage to do so. So. This weapon will definitely help. We heal. Oh, did he, see, he just royal knight resolve that? He did. What is that? That's interesting. Oh, flintstone pebble. You just don't expect that to hit, even though it does pretty often. Our regen is doing some good work here, though. Ha! I hate Moonveil. <laughs> just because it can react, punish a heal. So you're kind of forced to just run away from it and then heal off of a cliff. Which is fine, I don't mind doing it, but it just kind of prolongs the fight. We initiate the fight again. Coldo loves jump attacks. I've noticed this. Our regen is doing some nice work here, though. <laughs> you guys attacked in unison. That was kind of cute. Nope. I see you are an enjoyer of your jump attack, but no, no, no. Uh, oh, you saved him. Saved his life, absolutely. I want to kill the phantom though, not the hose. But honestly, the phantom's just staying completely out of range. It's interesting. I wonder why like hosts are so much more aggressive sometimes when their phantoms are obviously like higher level. Like, I don't think he's throwing an attack other than trying to be, like, do a counter attack after I attack. He's playing, like, completely passive for a phantom. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> You're not sneak attacking me. <laughs> well, at least we have regen doing some work here. <laughs> oh, 
That'll work. Oops. I like when he throws those bombs, it's kind of nice. William, um, I could use something to chip through his shield. That'd be nice. I see you, dude. Why is that the only strat some people can come up with? Just a distraction and then they fight. I mean, you're wasting your physic currently, so I mean, I'm not, I'm not entirely sad about it. But now William's dead. <laughs> Maybe we can get a backstab on him. Yeah. He's very tanky. Oh, he's got a rune arc going. That's also why. Yes, I'm very aggressive when the other teammate's not there because, well, there's no, there's no plan to just chip me while one watches and one fights. Oh. R2. Goodbye, Coldo. Was an interesting fight. Kind of drawn out, kind of long. But we got 19,000 runes total, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> Mountaintop of the Giants with Plock. All right, Plock, do you have a high-level phantom for me? You look like you sort of have a few friends here. Hi, Plock. Ooh, Mince. Hello, Mince. I want your back. Oh, you're alive, though. Ah, you look tanky, so I hope that we can get the finish here. I have fire damage, so maybe this. I can go through the shield. Oh. Maybe this afterwards. Oh, good roll catch. Hey, you know what? That was a good amount of runes. 26,000 total right now. I'll take that. We can probably get one level before we finish the video today, hopefully. <laughs> maybe I should start putting on the scarab. Maybe not on the host, but. Hey, 3,000, you know what? It makes a difference. The hosts are kind of giving us good runes now. We've invaded Melba. Hopefully Melba's got some very powerful friends for us. Oh, there they are. Hello, guys. Um, well... Are you guys going to be the type that just kind of camp and make me climb there? I don't mind, but... Okay, no. I couldn't tell. Alright, Melba. Hello there, wizard. How are you? Oh my god, that is a really weak straight sword with the Solaris. <laughs> that does not do much damage. I'm hoping your teammate here does a little bit more. Oh, that actually broke me out of my attack. That's unfortunate. Ha! Double lanced. Oh, nope. Unfortunate timing, truly. Let's start regens are doing some work. I do want to heal. Oh, I have no frostbite pellets. Well. Looks like we're dealing with frostbite, I guess. Melba, no! Leave, Melba, leave! You got literally 2 HP. <laughs> Whoa. You guys are hitting me multiple times in a row, though. I like that. Hopefully this just kills the phantom. Perfect. We can get the wizard. Not even a lot, to be honest. <laughs> the running heavy does like no poise damage. Can we just talk about that? Do I have parry on any of my shields? I do. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I do prefer the other parry ash of wards, but we only have this one right now, I think. Ooh. Bubbles. All right, I just wanted to check. So we need about 11,000 more to level up. And I wanted to swap the Ash of War. Sword Dance is okay, but I feel like Claymore just does so well with thrusts, I would say. You can do Impaling Thrust or Piercing Fang. Both work. That way we get some good thrusting mix-ups. Oh, they're fighting the boss. 
Wait, which one's the host? Because the big bonk stick one, nice, looks high level. Although, naked in pink, but you know, still, still high level, I would say. <laughs> oh yeah, look at how much absorption they have on that fireball while being like naked. Try to get a good roll catch chain here. Perfect. Oh, right as the host died. Well, let's see. 2600 for the Phantom. Wait. Did I only get the runes from the host because it died to fire and that makes them die faster? I learned that in the comments from you guys, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> no way. Oh my god. Well, this looks like something else, man. Hello there, guys. Holy. All right, so I don't know where I am right now. Oh, that's a dragon breath. Oh, I'm in like one of those small caves. Oh, okay. We're going to need some hefty damage then. Hello there. Oh my god, that high level phantom though. Definitely a monster. I can't roll out of that. I have no stamina. <laughs> oh. We keep dodging around here using our FP. Honestly, I might have to go for a crit. This actually might be the only play. What did I just get stuck on his body? That does so much damage, immense damage. Absolutely dodged. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to say, how is he not dead yet? <laughs> going to need some FP here eventually. Poison, though. Oh, that's not my shield. I was trying to guard and move faster. I think I have a poison. I don't have a poison heal, actually. Unfortunate. <laughs> the ultimate ambush by them right there. I'm going to have to do Black Flame Tornado again. Hi there. Okay, we can't be getting Scarlet Rotted, though. That's something we're going to have to watch out for. Um, not quite sure how I didn't hit them. That was very weird. Alright, so we're getting good movement here. My regen's kind of counteracting the poison, but I need more burst damage. Alright, one down. Rot Princess gone. Thankfully. That'll give us FP back. Perfect. And then we can go for some big burst damage on this guy. Oh man, he's he heavy rolling. I didn't know. <laughs> well, all right. I wish I could kill you to get the runes, but I suppose the host will do. <laughs> 43,000. I think that might be enough to level up, honestly. <laughs> what a gank spot, though. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I actually need a hundred and something more runes. So <laughs> we get one more invasion for fun. Into the manor we go. Are they above me? Probably, yes. Hello, guys. What do we got going on here? Do we look like there's some high-level phantoms at play? HJK. A moon veil. And the disc. Okay. The disc is in my favor to deal with. It chips me. Moon veil can be scary as well. Come out me off! <laughs> okay, let's see. Based on that... Maybe Frostbite might be my play. 
That takes me back to the beginning of the D or not DLC, the beginning of Elden Ring, when that did so much damage. Used to like one shot you. <laughs> Whoa. Well, there goes one phantom. Well, one. The phantom. Backstab. No. I missed it slightly. Um. R2. I All right, HJK. I'm jumping oh, over you, I thought. I thought I was jumping over you, but apparently not. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> you anti-aired me. Oh, R2. Into jump attack. Into jump attack. Now y'all frostbitten. Your defenses are weaker. Oh. No free heal. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> hey, that was kind of cool. I have a little bit of latency, but I think I'm getting the timing down on them now. I don't think he was ready for that, but... Fun fight, man. You gave me the runes I needed to get my one level. I wonder how many invasions that was to get one level. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I guess health is a safe bet. We're still getting 22 point investment for that. 36 is decent for strength. We'll do this for now. And then we're left over with 1700. We'll buy a few runes and then we call it for the day. What can I buy? We have none of the fives. I should buy them in order. They'll like get 24 of each so we can at least get two weapons to the right upgrade level. 800 left over. Oh, we can buy one of these. Boom. And then a little baby stone. A stone one. This is where we're going to end part 21. All I really have left to do now for the character is go to the Halig tree and gather everything that we need from there. I believe we're going to finish in the next part then. We'll just do all of the Halig tree. And we're going to start our hero run soon. So we're going to start off with a character that I'm going to bring to level 125. Have it ready for the DLC. Go to every dungeon. Different than this run, we're going to do everything. Since I'm going to use the PvE souls to upgrade weapons. So we can have a ton of weapons in that playthrough. And the leveling up will only be done through the PvP. But I am going to try to 100% that playthrough in a way. Like go to all the dungeons, unlock everything. Have it all ready for when the DLC comes out. Always feel free to recommend anything for those runs as well. I think the hero class is just a really good starting one as opposed to what I have is the Vagabond usually. They're pretty similar. I was actually surprised to learn that if you have a Vagabond starting class and you're going pure strength or pure dex, the hero is only one point less optimal. It can do everything, but it'll be one higher level. But you do have 11 arcane as opposed to the Vagabond that has 7. So there could be some bonuses there. So I think it's a pretty useful starting class. And it's more optimal for some arcane builds as well. Until the next video, this is goodbye. I will see you guys all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.